I want to ask you about Jenny Thomas, the wife of uh, uh, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. She uh, made a statement uh, to the January 6th committee that has been obtained by the Federalist in which she said, I can guarantee that my husband has never spoken with me about pending cases at the court. It is an ironclad rule in our home. I generally do not discuss with him my day-to-day -day work in politics, the topics I am working on, who I am calling, emailing, texting, or meeting. Uh, however, she told your committee that she still believes the 2020 election was stolen. Uh, all of this becomes a little hard to reconcile, uh, which is why I put it to you. How, how do you reconcile this? Well, the far be it for me to question the household rules uh, in, in the Thomas family, but what was remarkable, which the uh, chair of our committee, Benny Thompson, has confirmed, is that she is saying that she still believes that Donald Trump won the election and that Joe Biden's victory is based on fraud. That's a remarkable thing for anybody to say, much less someone who's married to a Supreme Court justice who theoretically uh, bases their whole work on the rule of law. We have more than 60 federal and state courts that have rejected every single claim of electoral fraud and corruption in the country. And these people have nothing to cite against it other than a feeling they have from Fox News or some other media outlet that there was fraud. But the courts have looked at it. This is how we deal with uh, claims of electoral fraud or corruption in the United States of America. And all of the courts have rejected it. And yet we still have people uh, like Ginny Thomas and others who are out there swallowing the big lie and continuing to propound it. That's just a dangerous thing for a democracy. One of the hallmarks of an authoritarian or fascist political party is a refusal to accept the results of democratic elections and an embrace of political violence, a refusal to renounce political violence. So uh, the whole country should be alarmed about where the GOP is today.